Understanding the phrase, wave the red flag. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting English idiom, wave the red flag. This phrase is not just colorful but also packed with meaning. So, if you're ready to expand your understanding of English expressions, let's get started. Firstly, it's fascinating to know where phrases come from. The term, wave the red flag, has its roots in history. Originally, it was a literal action. Waving a red flag was a signal of danger, particularly on railways or in battles. Over time, this literal action transformed into a metaphorical phrase in everyday English. Now, let's break down what this phrase means. To wave the red flag typically means to warn of a potential problem or danger. It's like saying, pay attention, something's not right here. It can also mean provoking or inciting anger or trouble. Similar to how a matador uses a red cape to provoke a bull in a bullfight. Understanding is best with examples. Let's see how this phrase is used. 1. In a meeting, when the project manager mentioned budget cuts, that really waved the red flag for the team. 2. In relationships, constantly checking your partner's phone is waving a red flag for trust issues. 3. In politics, the new policy has waved the red flag for activists concerned about privacy. Each of these examples shows how the phrase can be used in different contexts to indicate a warning or a provocation. It's easy to get idioms mixed up. A common mistake is confusing, wave the red flag, with red herring, or red tape. Remember, a red herring is a distraction from the real issue, and red tape refers to excessive bureaucracy. They're all different, even though they all use the color red. And that's a wrap on Wave the Red Flag. I hope this video has shed light on this colorful and useful English idiom. Remember, language learning is a journey filled with fascinating discoveries. Keep exploring, and I'll see you in our next video. Happy learning!